yes, it does look vulnerable at the moment. We've got a king in his 70s with cancer. We've got a Princess of Wales who's been out of action since early January and won't be returning to royal duties until the Easter. We've got a queen who's carrying out everything in her mid 70s. And, and it's looking pretty slim down. But I still think that in those numbers, there is great strength. And I think we've every reason to feel optimistic for the royal family in the future, but there's no doubt about it. This has been a rocky few months. there's been endless speculation about where Kate Middleton is. The palace have always said that she's at Windsor recuperating and indeed she was photographed leaving Windsor Castle today with Prince William who was in town for the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey while we were told Kate was attending a private appointment. We don't know if it was a medical appointment um, but she was clearly in central London for an appointment on her feet getting into that car. Very real and certainly not in a coma. I think what you've seen in the last couple of weeks is the palace really trying to take control of the narrative because the rumours on social media have been so outlandish about the Princess of Wales. Everything from her, you know, having gone through bad surgery, cosmetic surgery, to growing out a bad haircut, to being in a coma. I mean, frankly, ludicrous, ridiculous and unfounded allegations at a time when she's recovering from what is clearly major abdominal surgery. So I think the palace has been keen to, to get some control back. We've gotten used to the princess releasing pictures that she's taken herself, often of her children, as a very sort of modern way of royal photography. On this occasion, it was the Prince of Wales who took the photograph. Um, and we now know, because Kate's put a subsequent statement out to explain after suggestions that this image had been doctored, that she had indeed used some digital enhancement on the image. And we are told that they were minor tweaks we're not talking about superimposing the Princess of Wales into an image because she wasn't well enough to be there. And that's some of the wild speculation that is flying around on the internet at the moment. Keen-eyed observers have noticed there are some unusual things about the photograph. I mean, not least the fact that the tree behind them is in full bloom. Well, the trees that I'm looking out at here in London in this pretty cold winter that's still going on don't have any leaves on them. That's got people wondering. And um, there is, of course, that um, discrepancy over Charlotte's wrist, which looks slightly detached from the rest of her body, the way Louis's fingers are, are switched, it, almost like in a little flick. I think we certainly have seen royal photographs that have been touched up, that have been airbrushed. Um, I, I think that's pretty much the norm. I think what's been unusual in this is that four major picture agencies pulled this photograph late last night, two more followed this morning, because they believed that they had been um, digitally manipulated and the extent to which wasn't quite sure. And that's why the picture agencies were wanting clarification out of Kensington Palace. Well, in the end, that clarification came from the Princess of Wales. She took to Twitter and explained that she occasionally uses digital enhancements. Now, that statement could have come from Kensington Palace itself, but I think it's quite important that it came from the Princess of Wales. Let's not forget that she posted that picture on the couple's Instagram page on Mother's Day, Sunday, yesterday, um, with a sweet message which she very informally signed off with C for Catherine. She did the same with this statement, but this statement was very clearly designed to do two things, to apologize for any confusion that had been caused um, and to explain that she had used some digital enhancement on that image. But I think that's probably the last word we're going to hear either from the princess or indeed from Kensington Palace on the matter. As far as they are concerned, the explanation's been made, an apology has been offered for any confusion caused. And I think you will notice that the photograph is still on the couple's social media channel. They've not chosen to take it down. The irony in all of this was that this photograph was intended to quash all of those conspiracy rumors, to put out that happy image of Catherine with her children and to reassure an understandably concerned public who haven't seen the princess since Christmas Day. But actually, because of the digital enhancement, because of the discrepancies in that picture and the really major and unprecedented move by picture agencies to stop distributing them, unfortunately, the whole thing has backfired quite badly. Does it mean that people don't have trust in Princess Catherine? Um, I don't think so. I think by coming onto social media herself and issuing quite a personal and profound apology um, shows that she is being very authentic and that she obviously felt the need to address the situation. So I don't think it will shatter 
any trust that the public have in Princess Catherine at all. I don't see any reason why Kensington Palace should release the original photograph. I mean, everyone has the right to put a filter on, to do something to, to perhaps make a background or, or the, the people in that look a little bit better. I mean, we all do that day in, day out, every time we post on social media. So I think as far as Kensington Palace is concerned, they've addressed the controversy, they've addressed, and Catherine has apologized for any confusion caused, and I think it'll be a case of onwards and upwards. There seems to be no end to the conspiracy rumours um, and there is a theory that this was an image of Kate's face that was superimposed from an old Vogue shoot. Um, I, I think any sort of digital enhancement on that level would probably be far beyond Catherine's capabilities, to be perfectly honest. And I think the fact that it looks like a bit of a, a botched job shows you that it was an amateur that was doing this. And that's what she said. She's an amateur photographer who sometimes plays around with digital enhancement. And that's what's happened here. I think the idea that her image has in any way been superimposed is, is simply not the case. I think this was more a case of tweaking. Having recently celebrated my own 75th birthday, it warms my heart to reflect on the way the Commonwealth has been a constant throughout my own life. Don't forget that this story very nearly overshadowed the big story of today, which was the Commonwealth Day service, very important service over here at Westminster Abbey in London. Now, it was the Queen who took charge there and stood in for the King. That in itself was unusual. The Prince of Wales was there too. But that was very much overshadowed by this whole controversy. And I think that just shows um, how vulnerable the royal family is, how much it really needs to be seen to be taking control of the narrative, um, really cementing um, the trust that the people have in the royal family and, and being as, as authentic as possible. And I think that's, that's really important. The royal family needs to be authentic. It needs to be relatable. Um, and, and if you lose that connection, then I think the royal family could be in real trouble. I would hope that the Sussexes wouldn't be taking any pleasure in any of this. I think they understand clearly how serious the family situation is, the, the health of the King, the health of Catherine, of course, Harry and Harry and Meghan's sister-in-law. So no, I would hope that it's not a case of point scoring or one-upmanship in any of this and that the only wishes for the Sussexes will be a speedy recovery for Kate.